The Taft-Hartley Act will fail to achieve industrial stability because it is a negative approach to problems that require positive solution. In a free society, labor capital peace is possible only if workers can achieve economic security and social justice for themselves and their families. The Taft-Hartley Act will fail to achieve industrial stability because it is a negative approach to problems that require positive solution. In a society of free men, labor capital peace is possible only if the working people can achieve economic security and social justice for themselves and their families. If Congress wants to make a contribution towards industrial peace in America, it must begin to deal with the people's problems. It must roll back the cost of living, give our veterans and their families decent homes, give our children educational opportunities, and provide the old people of this country with security in their old age. We spent billions and billions to win the war, and we've got to be as courageous in spending billions to make life better. During the war, Congress appropriated $400 billion for battleships, bombers, to blow up homes and destroy life. We call upon Congress to show the same vision and the same courage to appropriate money to make life better, to give our children decent homes, to give them a good educational opportunity, medical care, to give our old, old people security in their old age. But when we call upon Congress to appropriate money to help people, they don't give us billions as they did in war, but they get out the congressional eyedropper and give us a couple of drops. And we believe that a country that has the power and the strength to spend billions to destroy life ought to have the courage and the strength to do the same thing to make life better. During the war, the Congress appropriated $400 billion for battleships and bombers to destroy homes and to destroy life. And we're asking Congress to show the same wisdom and the same courage to appropriate money to make life better in America, to give us the things that we can produce so that we can have a higher standard of living. But when we call upon the Congress to appropriate money to help people, they don't appropriate billions and billions. They get out the congressional eyedropper and give us a couple of drops. We believe that a country that can spend $400 billion to destroy life can afford to spend the same amount of money to make life better. <laughs> 